look up my enough cell about how me want to try anti a cake and call the people them. Eh? Hello, taxi. You know this girl, bad man. Three game from your flavor, Jamaica. Official game. Welcome to the social media countdown. All right, ready. Watch out. Uh huh. Oh, what God me just broke my neck. She's um. Oh Lord. No man, I can't even. Oh Lord, Jesus, um, I can't. Me just crept my neck a while ago. But you saw me at the foot of the countdown. Anyway, let me just keep it going. Ready? Hey. Oh. Oh God. Oh no. Yeah, I have to just keep it a wrap. Sorry, my neck kinda. Yeah. Let's let's call this a wrap. Thank you. Box cover, this is Dutty Berry and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. I am dressed like this for a reason. I just come from an event and I just say, you know what, I'm not time for change off my clothes. I look like me and one deacon and somebody church. I'm going to say, you know, let me just go ahead and go do the countdown like this. So just forgive me, you don't know me, you know, like me, I'm going to slap dash sometimes, but you are going to get the content because you deserve it. Okay, so you know, I have to go stop you know, and say, I have been loving the feedback from the recent videos. I can't say it enough. You know, I like, you know, a comment I wanna share if you now watch a live now just drop a comment right now just because you can't just comment like all the letter A the letter B the letter C the letter D just do it just because you don't read me anyhow let's get into this week's top 10 social media countdown <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop yeah. All the things are going on and missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner not coming soon All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth Like, yo, hey, hey. Box cover, and cover all the topics like a hymn name Box cover, mix up, blender, all them Suck me, I will have me now the week, yo, just tune in, zin Oh yeah, so you know, recently I was at the Press Association of Jamaica's Awards, and uh, I was speaking to journalist Giovanni Dennis, and me I talked to him, and he actually tell me said his daughter is a big fan of the social media countdown intro. Like me, I tell you, you know, the kid is. Maybe me I forgot of like one like a kid is show, you know, jumping panda like a coca melon money there and them like a something there. Maybe it is something for me to think about. Mm. But anyway, you know, hope you hope you're doing well in you know, a baby girl. So just look at dance again. Like it's not here, the barrier. Alright. <laughs> anyway, let's get into number 10. Number 10, Shen Hai Flames. Okay, my readers know, so I don't know if you've seen this uh, TikTok uh, personality. Uh, she has the name Shen Hai Flames now on TikTok, and she recently posted this video that has been getting quite some amount of attention. So she went to a particular uh, you know, business place, and the people that were doing shopping, they, they shopping, they are perusing the, you know, the premises and all of these things. When Shen decided to set up fear camera and go ahead and do this TikTok dance without fear, Take a look. I am really full of energy. <laughs> So funny is just the fact that the woman never really business, you know. She never mind. She was going to do it whether or not people are watching. And so it's a lady in the background. She had to turn her back like she no want in the video. Like then you had the gentleman who are coming from the side now, and he's just like, "What the box foot is this?" But we just love her. She just the all her head eye and continued with her uh, choreography. No, she is definitely a true performer. <laughs> Let me know if you have the confidence to do something like this, Berido. So down below. Number nine, curry banana tree. Me Ramesh. Okay, God, no, Ramesh, um, Wagwan. Ramesh, boy, Ramesh, you know, Ramesh, your creativity knows no bones. Like, what is next, man? Like, what is next, Ramesh? So recently, Ramesh uh, uploaded another uh, creative spin on his uh, just culinary art, and he did uh, banana tree. Just take a look. <laughs> Okay then, 
All right, I'm burritos. Y'all trying this? <laughs> Sound off below. Now here is this week's random video of the week. If we continue to give temporary solution to the poorest of the poor, to the poorest of the poor, one day the poor will become poorest, and the poorest will become the poorest of the poorest. That's the poorest. Number eight, casket wine burritos. No, honestly, I, I sometimes I just think the Caribbean people just make different. Like something is just very different about us. Like why is it that uh, why why one funeral I go on? Why one funeral I go on and this type of excitement I go on with the casket? Like whining? <laughs> Take a look. to James, so what are you doing today? This is Mr. Eli the broker I'm calling you from the Winners International Las Vegas. I'm calling you pertaining to you. Come on, man, sit down, come. Stop, diggy, 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 You know, me cannot bother. Me honestly, me cannot bother. Like, and me cannot bother. Me I love for say, you know, Jamaican people not gonna do these things. But yeah, man, we are very much able, able. We are quite capable of doing things like this. Like, we love the excitement. We love the liquor. I think that um, some months ago, I posted a video of, uh, I think it was a grave digging where the woman, they might whine while they might walk with the earth. Like, it, boy, people are crazy. But I guess if that is how you mourn the loss of somebody that you love well do you whatever brings you closure <laughs> number seven anti-hit phone all right where he does know so if you're up on tiktok i'm sure you've seen this woman who is basically like she traverses all 14 parishes like you book her up and over you book her up a town you book her up a st thomas you book her up a westmoreland she is every and anywhere always with her bag and so uh you know someone caught up with her and boy she try one different tactic i don't think he was prepared for how she reacted take a look <laughs> Hello. 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 No, no. Hello. Taxi. You know this is your bad man. Oh. You know this is your bad. You know this is your bad man. Oh. You know this. You see why you must see people and leave them alone. Usually the woman comes to you very nice and then she start for doing it. But the woman says, no man, I'm going to start eating things, I'm going to box things. Very does, boy, your oh boy, let me know. Have you ever seen her uh, before? So down below. Number six, Spice Sledging. All right, no, so, you know, recently, uh, dancer queen Spice posted a video of her uh, doing a bit of sledging while she was in Canada. And uh, you know, people, you know, Spice never old fair mode. Spice loved the raid, the boy, and the lad, so she definitely brought all of the excitement and the thrill uh take a look once and he come back then has to go in that's why he fed he lay with his eyes my body neat like the dust from the eyes the team once and he come back then has to go in that's why he fed oh shit Cool it down, but that's a cool it down, but that's a live like paradise. Make me want like paradise. 
said, hard to go in, that's why it burns. Hard to go in, that's why it burns. <laughs> you know, and it's one of the things I'm have the... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not brave, so. Like, in my mind, I feel like say, something I'm going to pop off now, and then I'm going to end up on one part, I want beer, I'm going to just see me and just near me live. Like, honestly, I saw my brain think, like, me don't know if me, I'd love to do it because I'm very much here for the wee, the wee. You know, me, I definitely want them to pick me up where you're throwing at the ear, and then you have me to throw them at the ear, you're like, wee, wee. Like, yeah, man, I'm very much about that. Like, yeah, but like, Mm -mm, I kind of worry about things now because when you when start to grow now you realize that boy accidents can happen you know any, any little thing can happen so you get very like up in your head you're paranoid about things so yeah man me know, mm -mm. but it sure does look fun though but let me know very those would you try this sound of below number five mackerel cuss out okay whoa I, <clears throat> I actually feel like me I get sick you know I definitely feel as if I'm getting sick that is weird very does yeah, I can't, I can't sick right now. I feel like me, I get sick. Is it sore throat or like... Yeah, I definitely feel like me, I get sick. All right, so let me just try for the steam it down a little bit for the coat down. Um, all right, so number five, mackerel cuss out. So a uh, social media personality, mackerel, was caught on camera with her baby father at a mall, you know, having a bit of an argument with some unknown person. No, I'm not really know the full details, but it seems as if somebody might have come too close to her baby father and mackerel decided that she was going to defend it. Because she, she is not afraid that no boy, no girl, nobody, no one around town. Take a look. Mako and her baby father at the Port Moore Mall arguing with a man. Yeah. This is everybody. You see, this is what Shaggy was talking about when he did sing the strength of a woman. Like, look on that. The baby father not even there for God move a muscle. He, he never did even need to do nothing. Not, not, not. The brother just rally back and just like easy so. Because you saw him silent so you know when he make a move you know, you know see a judgment. So it looked like Macro decided to say she is going to be the pit bull and she is going to talk and lot of the things she is going to be boisterous because people who know the word there boisterous. Yeah man so Macro decided that she was going to talk out of her throat and to you know make sure say, our, our baby father just stay there and stay composed because yeah man people like them they know you have to worry about you know you see look a silent one them yeah. Because you know, uh, him look like him different and not in Sutherland type of thing. So when he move, it's going to be action and a bag of words. So I'm very happy, I guess, that Macro did a do a little cuss out and kind of quell the situation in a fair own unique way. Uh, very does let me know. Have you ever had a confrontation like this? Like with somebody like, you know, at a mall, at a public setting? Sound off below and let me know how it went. Number four, Leon cries out. Okay, my readers know, so national footballer Leon Bailey was recently interviewed and he shared his thoughts on the, the, the public's, the local, the local public's uh, reaction to, I guess, the reggae boys' performance, them being overly critical about, you know, how they feel that he is uh, representing and, you know, bringing his whole entire skill sets to the team. No, he, 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 he essentially wanted to let people know that he very much was having an impact and that people need to just go on easy and, make, and give some like a breathing room, but if they don't hear from me, hear it from his mouth. People are blue for it. I bet say enough of them never know it. I've only lost three official games since I represent Jamaica. I'm 29 when we never know me. Ask what people want, how much people know that. Choosing three games from me, I've never Jamaica, official game. Mm. Four if you want to count a friendly against mm. Argentina. Two semi final, two World Cup semi final, I'm lose. We made it by the field, yeah? We made it by the field. Two semi final and one year in a Jamaica against Canada. Three games. Check the stats. We made it on the field. Three games. How much people can say that? From me, we made it on the field, we only lose. I'm only last three official games with Jamaica. And at 2019, I went to start playing with Jamaica. And at 2024, we are going. How much you hear that? How much caps me up for Jamaica? I've only lost three official games since me I represent Jamaica. I'm 29 when we're the pandemic. Ask what people, how much people know that. 
Choose your three game from your You know, honestly, Leon, I, I, I understand your sen sentiments. I get why you feel this way, but it is also a part of the sport. You have to deal with the criticism, especially when you are coming into it with the biggest popularity, with the, the highest expectations. Like, people see what you're doing on the international stage. They see what you're able to deliver. And so they're, they're probably trying to wonder, like, yo, why would not I get the same energy? Why would not I see the same sort of results uh, when you are uh, a part of the... The uh, reggae boys like the mat now math, but you know my thing says somehow we have to find a middle ground that you know the public sometimes don't understand like the psychological and the mental toll that these athletes they they do face when they choose to represent the country and you know so to represent Jamaica here bangarang and stress and all kind of things because honestly and it's not like so the money you know. I think could I really go elsewhere, but you know, I guess for the love of the uh, the black, green, and the gold, they do try to you know just honor the island and to just give off their best. So we're kind of for easy with how critical we can get. Cause sometimes some people go below the belt and say some little things, and I and I continue to say like if you can do better, and if you cannot be constructive, just you don't need to demean someone's character uh, to make your point heard. Oh, uh, so so Leon, just you know, keep your head up high and just continue to do well. <laughs> Number three, Muir fiance. Very does know. So dancehall artist Chanel Muir recently made a post that got several people just angry for some reason. I can't understand why. So she made a post, you know, show showing off her fiance uh, with the caption, Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. And so you see her there with her man behind her and the couple, you know, it's a nice little picture that they posted. But I don't think she anticipated the reaction from the post. Public. Many people started to leave comments saying that she deserves someone better and what kind of ugly man this and like why the pretty girl I was again with them type of man here like all kind of things and I'm just like um, have you seen like majority of relationships? When you expect that the man is supposed to look more pretty like like prettier than the woman? No, this is breaking up because you do have some relationships that the guys are the better looking one. You know, like those relationships do happen. But if somebody just that much pretty like boy or oh boy, it's it, it a go rough. But typically, you know, what you tend to see is that the woman, you know, she be the little delicate flower. She have all of the prettiness, the looks and them little something here. And the brother just come in like a G and just like old theme component and be the little security, the archive, the, yeah, I really want to call it them, you know, because they have too much problems right now. So I'm going to just left them too much people. Yeah, I'm not going to say beryllium, just left beryllium right there. So, but yeah, man, like the man just stay over there and just be the guidance and the protection. Um, and so I just found all of the comments baffling like, and the brother, the brother isn't ugly. Like, that's just the weirdest thing. So, in my mind, I'm actually wondering if it is a complexion thing or people just colorists. Like, what is exactly? Is it because he looks like one of the youth them where you could have sit on the road? Like, you could have seen him around there or do him look hustling. Is it because he have one of them little in the streets type of hustler look and maybe people expected somebody who looked more jacket and tie like them own two bank and them type of stuff there? I don't know. But if this person is treating her well, well enough for her to be happy and want to get married to him, then we should be applauding her. Because at the end of the day, this is not no modeling competition. She never said she want to get married to Pulse and Caribbean Fashion Weekly and them type of something they are seeing international. She wasn't saying all of these things. She's looking for somebody to really be by her side and to support her, empower her, and to be her peace. But the comments, man, the comments is weird. And it just brings back the point that, like, the women out there who are watching this become known so the woman them watch the social media countdown. When it is okay to give men compliments, because men some men insecure sometimes. Men men don't know if they look good, men don't know if they have something valuable to offer more time if a woman don't come and, and put and, and put the little spot there in their mind. Cause sometimes you walk around the place and it's like, yo, you just go through the place and so and it's not until you probably there with a little one girl or one woman say and say, Hey, you know, you have a nice smile. I really like your personality. Boy, you smell nice, you know, so them something flying a man, head, you know. Especially when you talk about like the dark skinned men, cause you know the little people that were mix and all kind of things, they tend to get a lot of the uh, the comments, but like when it comes down to black men, you know, and just like loving and basking and glowing in that, that that chocolate complexion, you don't always get a lot of that love. You don't always get that, you know, all of those um that type of affirmation. And so the women who are watching this right now, go and go message your husband, message your boyfriend, message one of your friends, the man just say, Hey, you're looking good. I like how you you communicate, like you're so strong. Just 
you know, like say something nice and, and compliment because boy, your boy, me, I tell you, man, if you look at comments like this is why some men tend to smile at themselves and they, they lash out with their insecurity. But really and truly, it is just, you know, not really feeling a sense of love or really feeling valued. And so women do better, do better. That's all me have to go and say, right? Big up yourself, Chanel Miran, all the best with this relationship. Of course, my mother, I have to use Of course, my mother, I have to use And I never ever get a cup of tea. But I'm my cup of coffee now. I can't tell you something. I don't know where you are. And now it is time for the Big Up segment. Alright, so first up on the Big Up segment, after just one Big Up couple of events that, you know, I attended recently, um, I've been going through some things in the burritos, but like me a angle it and me a, you know, I deal with them many for deal with so that I can, you know, yeah, yeah. And so, um, you know, I, 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 I attended the Press Association of Jamaica's like, you know, annual awards um, where they gave out like, you know, the awards to all of the journalists, you know, in the industry that have been contributing, you know, tremendous work. And it was just such a vibe, like, I went there, I saw Dion Jackson Miller, there's Giovanni Dennis, I saw, you know, like, Javon Keys uh, of TVJ, uh, Javon Gordon, like, so many people, Shannon Day, like, there were so many people, Delia Harris, so Archibald Gordon, like, so many people, you know, CVM crew, RJR crew, uh, the Gleaner, the Observer, like, so many people were in attendance, and it was just truly a remarkable vibe. But I have to go and send, you know, special shout-outs to... Um, Jovan Johnson, Journalist of the Year Award. I also have to, you know, go and shout out to Giovanni Dennis. Giovanni, he must win both for award. Like, I will for award you to win. And um, I just think say he is just excellence personified. Like, when this is somebody true to them craft, I him that. Him, him that true, true journalist, uh, Giovanni Dennis. And I was just, you know, you know, catching up with him and, you know, him family. And him, I tell me about him that I would love to come down intro. And that was just good as well. Then you have, uh, you know, Jeff Gordon, and he's just like a rising social media personality. Like, I'm not a journalist, but like, he's a balanced boat. I don't know how he do it, but he has been balancing both, and he walked away with the uh, Young Journalist of the Year Award. And, yeah, man, that is definitely just like an amazing feat, and so kudos to him. But, you know, after that, I got the after party, I did a vibe, I made a dance, and I enjoyed myself. Like, honestly... I don't know if because the way I did a galang, I don't know if they're gonna invite me next year, but hopefully they do because boy, I when I really left my yard after and me enjoy myself. So big up to uh, the PAJ. Thank you so much for the invite. And you know, if I never galang too bad, please to make sure you say invite me next year. Uh, I also have to go and big up Jassel. I hosted a, a, um, a workshop where it was all about youth on the rise. They were doing a workshop on youth development, just, you know, having about 60, uh, you know, young adults, you know, kids like to come into town to have a workshop. They'll be learning about leadership. They'll be learning about just, um, you know, upgrading and elevating their skills. We were working with staff skills, you know, just things about resume building, all of that. And in a little bit later, you know me, jump off and start to do my little chatting and my speech. But like, I just enjoy sharing. Look for the things like this. You get me? On the can only just start off at the top of the head for 15 minutes plus a whole audience captive. But me can't do it. So this is my do this and beat me. Okay, you get me? And so for each and every one of you, Number two, Jason versus Donna. We don't keep okay, readers know. So Auntie Donna, you know, uh, she, it is Christmas time, and this is when Auntie Donna pop up back with her Christmas cake, them the Nyambad cake. She come like Mariah Carey when at Christmas time. Auntie Donna just open up her oven and say, "It's time." Yeah, I forgot to my voice ago. I can't really eat the note. Not that I could have eat the note even when my voice never did go away. So let me just shut my mouth right now. But yeah, so uh, you know, Jason. Uh, so yeah. Where was I? Let me go back now. Yeah, man, so Auntie Donna now, she has her Nyambad cake at Christmas season, so she has sell it the two-pound cake, the one-pound cake, and all of these things. She all have different multicolor, multi-flavor. You know, Auntie Donna, she always gonna try to bring the creativity. And so I think the two-pound the two cake is around $9,500, right? And so, you know, some people, they kind of be like, whoa, the one that kind of steep in the pocket and time is very hard. And so a social media user by the name of Jason, he took to uh, social uh, to TikTok to post this video. Yeah, people, you know, so me took up my enough cell, but oh, me want to try Auntie Donna cake and call the people them. Eh? Me call the people them with my enough self. So me want to try Auntie Donna cake. I go to him, so me never took up my enough self and go down my yard, you know, because I'm so embarrassed. 
Me say me ask the woman how much for the cake. Me can't even talk loud, people. Me say me ask the woman how much for the cake. She tell me say the Java or the Wava. Me remember the name. Me we, when the woman tell me, me say me can't feel me. I remember where cake name. When me ask her for. She she say the Java or the Wava. No other one when name um Sariel. Yeah, Sariel one. The woman say the two pound one. I feel nine thousand. Oh, when I say people, nine thousand dollars the woman said for the cake. And the next one I seven thousand dollars two pound cake. So I don't want it to look bad. I say, so um me so how much for the, the, the one pound one? Four thousand five people. Lord Jesus. Me say the woman say what? Four thousand five hundred. No, sir. Me have to take out one loan for buy one of them the cake there. After me now can't buy none of them cake there again. Cause alone, me not forgot about for buy that cake there. Ten thousand, almost ten thousand dollars for one cake. Look here, anybody buy any cake? Um, anybody can buy one for me, please? Cause I really want to taste it. Because I cannot afford it. Ten, almost ten thousand dollars for one Christmas cake. Eh? I want to eat when me eat it. Me got me reach a foreign. I me got heaven when me don't eat that cake there. No, sir. Me not like people real in Jamaica have money. You don't have money, you know. You don't buy one for me, please. It was film reaction, no. He must have bought the packet. The packet can't cross the one year, but he definitely want to go and taste it. Brother, didn't want a piece of the cake. All it look like him, they just vex, you know. Really and truly, in him heart of him, and he didn't want to taste it. And I saw you have to recognize, you know, when you are here, you have to know where the real test stem from. So you see, sometimes you see, like, I wear this cast for. But Jason was smart enough to recognize that, listen, I don't have a fight or hustle, you know. I just, boy, I want the cake. I just don't know if I want to spend my own money. So if somebody out there could just be like my guardian angel, be like a good Samaritan, and just make a way. Because right now in my bank account, it seems that there is no way. And it looked like so God heard his prayer. And uh, what I'm hearing is that one of his friends actually, you know, surprised him and took him to Auntie Donna for him to go and get a cake. And this is how it went with the two. So what is your name? Jason. So Jason, what makes you feel like you should have up on internet for doing me now? Yes. No, I'm not. You said right, I don't want to question him. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not. I always want to buy the cake. I always, every year, I say. Yeah. Somebody talk about Auntie Donna cake and me want to taste the cake. Yes. So this time now, I say, I don't know. By the cake. I don't know. By the cake. Number. So I'm going to call the number, I'm going to call yeah. the number. I'm going to say 9,000 dollars. Yeah. Do you have that? Yes. Yeah. So you know what I have to do? I'm just going to go for a TikTok account. I'm going to say yeah. that you don't know what I'm going to say. Yeah. We could be in the mind. I'm going to say that you know. All right, so. Yes, so that's all is well that ends well. You see the power of social media. I saw things going on. Yes, sometimes you have to just go put things out in the universe. Sometimes when you're there, you're hungry. And you just put on your status and say, Boy, long time I'm eat two pieces of jerk chicken. Jesus Christ. I wish one of my friends would have just, you know, I feel for something nice, man. And then two twos, you might get one of your followers, them or one supporter, where just say, I want your friend, they be like, Lord, girl, come here, man, let me come carry you out. So then I just put out and say, no man, a long time in a goat. Boy, everybody I got carnival and me just they won't board. Which one of my friends them could have feel sorry for me? And you don't know what your friend they might hear it. And then look like that you get your blessing. So right now I'm gonna try to the burritos them. Like right now. Boy, Jesus Pim. I wouldn't mind some of the burritos them have a business would have just send me a couple pro products for Christmas because Christmas will come up and I like like a freeness. So if any one of the burritos them out there, I don't know, I don't really want to pressure nobody if you don't have no little product and stuff you can give me as a Christmas present. I would have really appreciate it. But I don't really ask just if you don't feel it and I don't ask for you help me. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, burritos. Well, that is it. You know, so big of yourself, Jason. Big of yourself, and Tid Dana. As a matter of fact, I feel like I feel like a little package for pizza than the Ambad cake. <laughs> and number one goes to... Rebel Winnings. Woo! 
My red nice sentence, my paragraph, my video take off. Number one goes to Rebel Winnings. Now, Dancing Rebel, she has been on a roll. Like, I honestly think that this has to be the best year of her career. Like, Dancing Rebel has been in the game for probably over 10 years. And she's kept steadily rising, like, year after year, making a name for herself. And just branching out, being one of the Jamaica's, like, top uh, influencers, TikTok personality. She has trending dances. She's seen as a fashionista. And really and truly just somebody who uh, is very skilled. Full. She's very witty with language and, you know, uh, just the spoken word and all of these things. So, like, I'm just definitely a rebel stan. Like, rebel can do no running wrong in my eye. Like, rebel is just that girl. And the fact that she's just so grassroots and down to earth and she does have a sincerity to her is, you know, that alone, I've got to say, always a root for her. So, you know, she recently had her birthday party celebrating her 29th, uh, you know, B-Day. And so that they go on with a bag of things. I did a countdown quickly about it. Yeah, man, she was enjoying herself, all of that. Ramesh, Ramesh Entertainment put it on, major marketing, all of these things. And she got whole heap of support. Like, the, the venue they need for big, like, clearly she looked like she forgot to land in multi-purpose stadium. I go around, uh, but the place not watching him. Somebody leave it down below. Make it the one everybody gone to know. Like, it come like at a new mass camp. But, so she did that now. She had a follow-up at Dolly Sundays. And now we are seeing a video with her receiving her brand new SUV. And of course, her, uh, her besties were with her to celebrate the moment. Take a look. What is this? I'm not a Oh my god, that is it, Dancing Rebel. Like, honestly, that is it, Dancing Rebel. Like, she's just been having a stellar year, such impact. And um, I, I just want to see more blessings. You know, you have some people you just scroll past by your timeline and I see them out and about. And you really and truly just wish them well. Like, your spirit just. Yes, we just take to them like every little thing where you say at me, you're just like, yeah, man, I'm gonna want more for I'm to you. Like, that is exactly how I kind of feel for rebels. I always go send our praises. We just see, I just support talent when you see it. Well, you know, congrats again and happy belated birthday, uh, Rebel. Enjoy the day, enjoy your car, all of these things. Go up on a vacation and enjoy your whole entire birthday month. Well, that is it, uh, Burritos. We've come to the end of yet another social media top 10 countdown. Uh, you know, ensure that you leave me a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below, share and to subscribe. Still on the road to 300,000 subscribers. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Um... <laughs> what may I say a while ago? Jesus, I'm in a go. Don't forget to follow me on my social media at Dutty Bear Show, Facebook, Instagram, X slash uh, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Yemen, as well as if you want to advertise within the social media countdown, shoot me an email to bookings.dutybearshow at gmail.com. Okay, take care until next time. The dirty are the berry, yeah, the juicy are the scoop All the things are going on and missing on the news Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner are coming soon All the drama where you want, you can tune into the youth Like, yo, hey, box cover And cover all the topics like I'm in there Pot cover, mix up, blender All them suck me, I will have me not a week Yo, just tune in, see